Hey there everyone, uh, the Sao Cow playing VIP 4 and today might be the first trouble spot because I remember this level totally fun lift hell well the name wasn't quite that but this level I remember being kind of a thing sporting exciting Mario and Wario tile sets it features a lot of platforming shenanigans We'll see how, with the big old pig snout blocks, we'll see how much of a cheat having these feathers is gonna be, but I mean, if I die, you know, you can only cheat once, oh boy. And here, uh, it doesn't really offer, like, an advantage. You just need to be fast, you just need to be on the money, you just gotta press the button, you just gotta see what's coming. It's all about cream cheese. Uh, and everything you can slaughter it. Yeah, here having a cape did make kind of a big difference. Uh, it did give me the ability to kind of like replace myself and respace myself. Shoot! Well, there goes that use of a cape. I have one more cape I can make use of. You even got like this fun little safe room you can use right at the start, right, right here. Like, why does this area exist? It's so you can power up nicely and safely. Alright, well, here's attempt number two. I like how, you know, it's... Oh, boy. That that was kind of sad. That could have gone real sad, real sad. You know, it's sad when you just describe it as sad twice in a row without modifying any words. Because, I mean, sometimes, look, this is, the word is perfect for it. Like... Why scramble to find a completely different terminology when the simple one works perfectly? Right? So here's the part where you gotta start throwing things that has always has been my weakness. It will always be my weakness. And I just got inside a block there. Oh, but that's high enough for you to just bop. But not so here. And there we go. That's the end of the Cape uh, series. I hope you all enjoyed it. Probably my favorite series on the internet. Well, let's try it without using anything. Afterwards when I'm gonna start editing. Maybe this is cruel. Maybe this doesn't make any sense in terms of making a video. Look. <laughs> So, being small, uh, I mean, so, like, sure, like, places like this is gonna be a little bit less difficult, but, like, not only do I not get to glide in that, uh, earlier part, but also, like, there's one place where you're probably meant to use a cape, the, uh, I mean, shell, that I didn't have to, because I was, like, t two tiles high, now I'm only one tile. Like, here, okay, so here it doesn't really make that big of a difference. Nice to meet you, Mr. Thumbtack. And, there, uh, yeah, but I didn't get the thing, so... Yeah, this, if I'm gonna die anywhere, it's gonna be here. I've always been bad with throwing objects. It has always been true. It is still true. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo. All right. Okay, this one's kind of a. Okay. <laughs> These are actually pretty interesting. Holy moly, that was scary. All right, probably want it back. Otherwise, it wouldn't be set up this way. This one's pretty basic. Like it's kind of weird how they spin from. Pretty basic to pretty non-basic. Oh, what? Okay, you probably... Ah, uh, shoot. You know what? Okay, so you had to let it bop like that, and this is placed in this way, so that you have time to compensate for it. Wow, this was super cool, but yeah, like, it's just... But I think it's good, 
that they kind of jumped around between complexity because so that you weren't always all super strained with a continuous uprising of strain. So second half, I remember it being a little bit more complicated than the first half. Good start. Well, this is not easy. Yeah, these things are crumbly. And you want to make sure not to crumble too much. No, you kind of have to crumble smartly. There, I bonked my head on the ceiling. Great feeling. Welcome to Canada. How can I devour your puppy? Whoops! That was, that was badly thought out on my end. This is what happens when you say weirdly violent things in Canada. A grinder saw pops up and it's like, well, here I go. Here I go again. Gonna tune to my acoustic guitar and we're gonna fly away to a land unknown to most people, including the Brady Bunch. At least the surviving members. I have no idea if any of the members has deceased. I, it's not something I've spent my life following, sadly. I know this will upset some people, but... You know, it's, it's, we, got, we got to pick and choose the things we devote our lives to. Uh, so, this looks kind of scary. Like, it's just you kind of want to time your, your crum crumbliness. Here, you got to place yourself. See there, you see the line is at a different place, so you can't just like center yourself and be happy with yourself. If you're happy and you know it, you are invited to cordially clap your hands, but you don't have to. See here, the thing is that it goes back and forth like this, but you have to do the whole back and forth, right? So you gotta be careful how you decide to spend your chocolate. I feel like in the past, even though I've never really played this game blind on camera. It's like I never really understood that part. I don't know how, because it wasn't actually, like, very difficult. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did it. Dang it! <laughs> uh, sadness devours me whole, like an apricot within the mouth hole of a cranberry jam tree. My favorite kind. This is kind of silly, kind of scary, because blocks don't mess around in this game. If you meet a block and the block says hi, gosh darn it, say hi in return. It's just for the best, alright? So this is a little complicated, there's just like a lot of moving parts, but if you just take your time, take a time to look and admire how beautiful these chalk drawings are. Like, it's hard to draw a circle. Uh, this is truly art. Hey, check it out, it's an apple for me. All right, so here I just wants you to go from a bouncing saw. Such a happy grinder. Who is the fool here? Hopefully not my mother. I'd be sad if that was the case. Don't insult another's parent for no reason if you can't help it. That's a saw on the ground. Yeah, saws on the ground. They go paws on the clown. Frown at me, Bob. Good value info. Carefully investigate the floor of the green storehouse while you're small. Carefully investigate the floor of the green storehouse while you're small. I don't think we've encountered any green storehouses yet. Someone, please try to remember this helpful hint. Uh, feels like it's gonna get relevant, and I don't immediately remember why. By the way, we got ourselves a boss fight here. It's not very hard. Like, the only thing you gotta watch out about is bopping your head on the spikeful ceiling. But like just keeps your wits about you and be careful and like it's not gonna be a thing. Tana Sen, very powerful enemy, but it takes him a little bit to wake up. And that's something that you can exploit for your own arts and crafts needs. And that was a wasted attempt. I did it. I wasted my attempt. Truly something to be proud of. I, was, I mean, t talking it about being wasted, it's a bit severe. It's a bit of an exaggeration when you have so many blocks you can use. This one, significantly better than I was thinking it was going to. Wow, well, there we go. 
layup pad there for the future, as well as accentuate the pile of logs right here. See, there used to be two logs, now there's four. Probably building up to something. Well, might as well do Morn's Morn Town. Uh, what a pain! And the Iggy! No Morn here, it's Iggy. Why was I thinking of Morn? Because it's World 2. This is Pain the Iggy. Man, like, that's a funny level name. But boy howdy, does it not tell you really what they're going to be doing. Alright, so I want to bring a P-Switch here at some point. Got it. Getting me a cape. Go in this pipe. Got it. Is that no? Now I'm in an un underwater, underground, underwater, underground. Oh, don't get smushed by the rock. Go to a place that has no socks. I mean, you can wear some yourselves. Just don't and don't expect the locals to do the same. So if you're weak to food poisoning, this might not be your game. I think the le you're supposed to like bring a shell here to bop this guy and that's where the P-switch is or something. I think this is the case. Like, I remember nothing of this, but I kind of vaguely remember just that exact block set up. So, uh, we'll go with that theory. Like, it makes a lot of sense. Like, it's in a weird zone. The level's about pain. When what's more pain than, you know, suffering a slight detour while playing a Mario? Also, this little hub zone is a little bit smaller than I expect, so, so that's its whole thing. And that's its whole thing. One might be useful, one might be a jam. Let's go in the order that I saw them. So why not? Also, there was a wizard there. I don't feel like wizardology here, so I just bought this guy. That's Lava Lotus. They're hard to discern from the nightmare of yesterday, but just try. Alright, so here... Oh, you're supposed to... Are you supposed to bring... And you can't go in this one. There's no way in heck I can, like, fly in any of these. Now I'm wondering if you're supposed to bring the springboard to get on the Yoshi here. But how are you spring supposed to bring the springboard? Like, I thought you needed to come back. Well, let's look what's in this room before we go and exaggerate our crimes. So he says lol. That's pretty funny. Because this is says bit. Oh, he has words to say. Uh, so, so there's the piece which I want. Pass through a pie with something in your mouth. It'll vanish. Be careful about that. Alright, so, well, I mean, look, I can just use the wizard here, right, to get to that P-switch, but if I get- No, 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 you're supposed to break- get, you're supposed to get the Yoshi to get it out. Because if you just press the switch to get out, then, I mean, like, you haven't solved anything. Wait a second, but I can use- Okay, 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 I think I get it. Use LOL Man to create a Koopa so that I can use its shell. I bet that in the- in the- the block that you unblock, there's a vine that lets you go up with a springboard so that you can use the springboard to get the Yoshi so that you can use the Yoshi to get the P-Switch. Uh, and then you use the P-Switch to get to the stairs. I think that's probably it. That sounds like that would be the solution. It makes sense, it incorporates everything. And also includes going to places like multiple times. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, so you do a little bit of that. Try not to fry it. Oh, man. Oh, and man. You even have a little space there where you can throw up your uh, springboard if you don't know that you can, you know, bring your springboard up in this slight, very low impact climb an object while holding an object glitch. So, there we go, I did it, I saw that. Uh, I'm glad that the level gives you plenty of time to, like, figure it out. Like, look at all the levels, do a little bit of analysis, try to figure out when you're going to do what. I appreciate that. Uh, this has got enough time, and there's even a message that tells you that Yoshi is a glutton, and if you leave an object in its mouth, it's, it's going to eat it in, in, in the space in between space. You can't help it. Like, I, I, I know it's easy to call Yoshi names. You just can't help it, man. It's just, it's, it's his physiognomy, like... No! How did I manage to do that? 
Perfect. Why would I want to fire? Alright. Hopefully this time I don't just run into the pit. There, I did it. I managed to avoid that somehow. What a miracle on Elm Street. I like because of the crenation aesthetic here. If you get hit by Yoshi, like, it's pretty much guaranteed you'll get him back. I'm thinking that's probably on purpose. Alright, check it out. It's Yoshi in the wizard zone, but his tongue is normal. Wow. Like, yeah, like, I think this is why this is set up this way. It's so you can get him out. Because if you just press it, like, fine, you can press the P-switch and you won't be stuck. But you also won't be able to bring it with you, because that's the reason, the only reason why you're going through this whole rigmarole is so you can press the P-switch here, and then go inside this big red door, double door, double down, it's Iggy, as advertised. What a pain. Did it. I beat the game. No more video games shall stand between me and my butterfingers. No more, I say. That was World 2. World 2 took less videos than World 1, I think. <laughs> I might be wrong. I don't know. I haven't really been kept count. Ooh, Iggy has something to say. I've obtained a mansion of my dreams! Oh, and then, and then Boone gets to take a decision between walk away, demolish, and negotiate. Oh, that's funny. That is so involved and kind of complicated. This is great. But also, Iggy's dreams are are not as uh, hum humongous as you would think. Very small dreams, you know, simple dreams for a simple Koopa. But Boone can't have none of that. Any dreams. It's too many dreams as far as he's concerned.